In this video tutorial, we learn how to find equivalent rational numbers. Now, we know that a rational number can be is of the form p over q, where p can be 0, can be a positive integer and can be a negative integer. q cannot be equal to 0, that is the denominator cannot be equal to 0, can be a positive integer, can be a negative integer. Okay, this much we know about rational numbers. If you have to find equivalent rational numbers of a given rational number, like in this case, this is p over q, what you have to do is either multiply the numerator and the denominator with the same, with the same number. Let's say in this case, a is any arbit is a arbitrary number, is any arbitrary number. So if you multiply this, the numerator that is p with a, and the denominator that is q with a, let's suppose you get from p times a gives you x and q times a gives you y. Suppose this x over y, this x over y is equivalent rational number, equivalent rational number of p over q. It's exactly similar to what we have learned uh, in, in the case of fractions, when we find equivalent, equivalent fractions, we do the same thing. Okay, so this x over y is equivalent rational number of p over q. Therefore, these two will be equal. Now, similarly, if your rational number is again p over q, and if you divide this p over q with the same with the same number or integer, anything, let's say in this case we take uh, b. If we divide this p and q, that is the numerator and the denominator with the same number. Let's say if you divide this p times uh, p divided by b gives you s and s over t. This s over t that is obtained from dividing p and q with the same number b is equivalent rational number of p over q. Okay, this is equivalent rational number of p over q. Now, here is one important thing. Whenever you divide or multiply the numerator and the denominator, if you multiply the numerator and the denominator with a number, that number should not be equal to zero that number should not be equal to zero. If you're wondering why, because if a is zero, then this q times a will become what? Will become zero, right? It will become zero. Therefore, at the place of y, you get what? You get zero. Now, in the rational number, you cannot have zero at the place of denominator. Therefore, this a cannot be equal to zero. That is, you can multiply the numerator and the denominator with any number you want, but zero other than zero. Similarly, in this case, if you're wondering why, if you divide this q with zero, this q with zero, that is, this b is if zero, if this b is zero, it gives you what? q divided by zero. Now, this is undefined. This is undefined. Okay, this is undefined. If you're wondering why, and it's, you know, you, when you move to high standard, then you will learn. This is undefined. So, multiply or divide by any number other than zero. So, this is the way to find the equivalent rational numbers. Let's take some examples now. Let's take some examples now. Let's say our rational number is 100 or 50, right? Now, if I multiply this 100 over 50, this 100 over 50 with, let's say with 2, what do you get? You get 200 over 100. Therefore, we say that 100 over 50 and 200 over 100 are equivalent rational numbers. Right? And they are equal therefore. Let's multiply this with another integer. 
100 times, let's say, 5. 50 times 5. So this gives you what? 500 and 250. Therefore, we say that 100 over 50 is equal to 500 over 250, right? So these are equivalent rational numbers. Now, from this one and from this two, can we say that 100 over 50, do some space. Hundred or fifty is equal to two hundred or hundred is equal to five hundred or two fifty. Right? Because all these are equivalent ration numbers. This two hundred or hundred is equal to hundred or fifty because they are equivalent ration numbers. And 500 over 250 is equal to 100 over 50, same thing, equivalent rational numbers. Therefore, these all are equal. These all are equivalent rational numbers. Let's multiply this 100 over 50, this 100 over 50, with this time with. Uh, minus 1. So what do we get? We get minus 100 divided by or minus 50. Minus 100 or minus 50. So we say that 100 or 50 is equal to minus 100 or minus 50. These are equivalent rational numbers. Why? Because we multiplied with minus 1, both the numerator and the denominator with minus 1. So this is 3. Therefore, we say that minus 100 is also equal to over minus 50 is equal to 100 over 50 is equal to 200 over 100 because all are equivalent rational numbers. But here is a thing, one very interesting thing if you can notice. I'm highlighting that here. Look at this. Look at this carefully. Right? Same thing. This thing again. It says that 100 over 50 is equal to minus 100 over minus 50. It means what? Well, it is trying to tell you that P over Q, if P over Q is a rational number, then this is equal to minus P over minus q and the proof we just saw here right if you want to prove it in a general way let me do that for you so if i take this p over q and if i multiply this p over q with minus one what do i get i get minus p or minus q or let me take this one minus p over minus q, if I multiply this with 1, sorry, with minus 1, what do I get? I get p over q, right? From minus p over minus q, you are getting this. From p over q, you are getting this. It means what? It means if anywhere it's written like minus 10 or minus, let's say, 5, you can think it as 10 or 5. You can think that this negative sign gets cancelled. And the reason we have just proved here, because it's these two are actually equivalent rational numbers and therefore these two are equal, right? So that's a very interesting thing. There's one more interesting thing that we have to discuss and let me do that for you. Let me take another example. Let's say this time our rational number is minus 10 
or 5, right? Let's say this is a rational number where numerator is, uh, a, is a negative integer that is minus 10. So if I multiply this minus 10 over 5, if I multiply this minus 10 over 5 with let's say 2, you get minus 20 over 10. It means what? It means that minus 10 over 5 is equal to minus 20 over 10, right? Because they are equivalent rational numbers. Minus 10 over 5, let's say we multiply with 100 times 100. So you get minus 1000 divided by 500 or 500. It means that minus 10 over 5 is equal to minus 1000 or 500 because we multiplied with 100. These two are equivalent rational numbers. That is, that is minus 1000 over 500 is an equivalent rational number of minus 10 over 5. From this 1 and 2, we can say that minus 10 over 5 is equal to minus 20 over 10 is equal to minus 1000 over 500 because these are actually equivalent rational numbers only. Minus 10 over 5 is equal to minus 20 over 10, minus 10 over 5 is equal to minus 1000 over 500. Therefore, minus 20 over 10 will be equal to this one, right? Now, the in discussion for the interesting thing. If I multiply this minus 10 times minus 10 over 5 with minus 2, suppose with minus 2, just to tell you the interesting thing. This becomes what? It becomes 20 or minus 10. It means that minus 10 over 5 is equal to 20 or minus 10 because these two are equivalent rational numbers. Now, from this 3 also, we can write it as we can write it as this is equal to this is equal to 20 or minus 10. Now here is an interesting thing. Look at this one and look at this one. What these two tell? These two tell that 20 over minus 10 is equal to minus 20 over 10. Now can you look at this two equivalent rational numbers? It's trying to tell us that if you have something like this p over minus q then this will be equal to minus p over q. You, what you have to do is just interchange change the position of this minus sign. Here in this case it's with the denominator, make it with the numerator. And these two are actually equivalent rational numbers. So just as we saw here that p over q is equal to minus p over minus q, right? Here p over minus q will be equal to minus p over q. This is another interesting thing. You can interchange the change the position of minus sign. And therefore, we write it as this can be written as put minus sign here, then write p or q, right? This minus sign is just along um, just alongside this divided uh, sign or symbol, whatever it is, p or q, right? So this can be written as minus p or q. Simply put this minus sign in the middle, right? So p over minus q is equal to minus p over q or you can write it as this thing. So if your number is minus 10 over 5, this will be equal to 10 over minus 5 or you can write it as this minus sign here, 10 
and that is this is in the middle it can go with the numerator or with the denominator so this was another interesting thing now just as we have uh, you know found uh, the equivalent rational numbers using multiplication right and we discussed that we can find the equivalent rational numbers using division also so i'll quickly show you how to find equivalent rational numbers using division let's say that our number is 100 over 50 and if I divide this 100 over 50, 100 over 50 with 10, with 10, then we get what? 10 over 5. Again, if I divide this 100 over 50 with, with 2, you get 50 over 24. So from this, you get 100 over 50 is equal to 10 over 5 because they are equivalent rational numbers. Similarly, from here, this 100 over 50 is equal to 50 over 25 because they are equivalent rational numbers. Therefore, we can say that 100 over 50 is equal to 10 over 5 is equal to 50 over 25, the equivalent rational numbers.